Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today we have the pick a card reading of why did they ghost me? So we have group number one, group number two, number three and number four. And if you would like to take 10 seconds just to breathe in and breathe out and take 10 seconds to choose a group. let's get started with group number one hello group number one let's see why did they ghost you let's have a look and see what's going on shall we so we have a time to give rather than take angel light angels throat and crown chakra resistance imrama Im imrama where are you being called to journey to emotions and we also have knowledge so i'm just going to shuffle with the tarot because i think some cards will be the same for some group so i'm just going to shuffle and see what tarot we have for group number one so we have the two of pentacles that one fell on the floor two of swords sorry about the lighting guys you can't really see that can you okay Four of Wands, Emotions, we have Page of Swords, and for Knowledge, oops, if it wants to uh, give me the card, <laughs> and we also have, okay, we also have Ten of Wands and the Four of Swords. Underneath we have the star card. So for this person, I feel like you guys are definitely divine to, you're divinely guided to actually be together. I'm just gonna move that up slightly just so you can see it better. Um, you guys are definitely divinely guided to each other like you're meant to have met like you're meant to have met each other um so basically this person has resistance in terms of moving on with like commitment or communication anything that's to do with like them actually making an effort i feel like this person's like nah i ain't doing that they're not very giving i feel like they probably were when they were with you um but they kind of basically they went back into their old patterns and they were like i can't deal with this anymore um, so basically this person possibly felt the intense connection and they possibly just didn't know what to do with it. Um, I feel like for you guys this person could actually come back because we have the chariot with resistance. So this person is actually resisting coming back. So they, they want to come back because we have the four of wands here. We have where are you being called to journey to and we have the four of wands. It's like this person wants to be with you. They want commitment. But on a human level, they're like, holy shit, what do I do with this? They're like, oh my God, oh my God, too much like connection, too much information, over information overload. Like what, what the hell do I do with this? So then we have emotions with the page of swords. So for this, I feel like they are looking into what can they actually do about a situation. So they want to move on. They want to have freedom, but... It, this is kind of like an immature way of thinking it's not like a mature like oh i just want lots of freedom i want to basically kind of journey with you i want to do things with you it's like i want to just go out on my own and do things myself because it's scary they're like it's scary being in a relationship it's scary talking to new people <laughs> they're starting to shout at me i'm getting them like shouting at me they're like it's scary it's scary it's scary so basically we also have the Four of Swords with the Ten of Wands with knowledge. So this person's going to gain a hell of a lot of knowledge from this. They may actually come back to you because they've learned a lot from this situation. And they're like, do you know what? Now I'm fed up of carrying all these wands. I'm fed up with all of this. And this is going to be the end of their cycle. And then once they've come out of this, they're going to be like chilling. And they're going to be thinking about whether they should come back or not. So for you guys, it's like a 50-50 chance of them coming back if you actually want them to come back. I'm getting some of you are like, um, like shaking your head like, no, I don't want them back. Um, so for this person, I feel like they were quite selfish. They could be a Virgo or a water sign. And I feel like they basically wanted so, to say so many things to you, but they just couldn't do it. They just couldn't bring up the courage to say like, hey, I like you. Because I feel like this person did like you. And I'm really scratching this finger here. So I'm thinking for some of you guys, you may have actually been engaged to this person. Well, if you were, I'm really sorry if they ghosted you because that's that's awful. Um, 
But yeah, I feel like they've got so much resistance. They can easily come out of this though because we have the chariot. So it's almost like the universe is like, hey, look, this person's got so much, um, so many lovely qualities. Then they need to, they need to see you for who you are. And basically they are essentially debating whether they should communicate with you or not. And they're debating how much to give and how much to take in every relationship they're in. They're not very good at basically balancing themselves out. <clears throat> I feel for some of you guys, this person basically puts money ahead of everything else. And it's like, I can't do this anymore. I need my finances together. So for this person, when their, fin when their finances are basically more put together and they basically put love before finances, that's when they're possibly going to come back to you as well. And um, this person definitely sees like a strong relationship with you they see they feel the connection they feel it very very strongly okay so that's why they ghosted you is because they just are very very scared of coming forward um because they want commitment but they're just not sure if if it's the right timing um for them i feel like it is the right timing but actually in with circumstances like money or finances or like commitment to other things that's probably why they didn't come they, that's why they ghosted you and they just got scared they just got terrified they just got really really scared and they wanted freedom when actually they did actually have freedom with you okay and possibly it was it's all in their head really i feel like they feel like they're tied down but they're actually not okay so thank you so much for watching this reading um if you would like to please give it a big old thumbs up subscribe down below and comment down below if you would like to if this resonated if it didn't resonate then just let it fly and um, also if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below i have all my options listed and that'd be amazing if you want to get a private reading with me i am putting my 10 percent off on all my readings again for this month i really really enjoyed doing the free crystal recommendations for you guys so i'm really excited to add those on to every single reading that i'm offering this month so if you'd like to get a private reading please feel free all the information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon bye group one hello group number two thank you so much for being here let's see why did they ghost you we have expect powerful change holy crap that's good it's time to take action garnet commitment wow you guys have got an intense group um pipestone cat and ancestors root chakra assessing growth no wait postpone pause say no self-love right okay so this is pretty much obvious i'm going to um clarify these cards with the tarot and just to see what's kind of coming through okay Okay, so same, <laughs> which is actually really funny. Similar to um, group number one, we have the star underneath the deck. So you guys have definitely got your divinely guided connection here. So the reason why this person ghosted you is showing me because they wanted commitment. And for some reason, they didn't get that. Um, possibly they didn't think that you were committed enough um, for some of you. They possibly felt like out in the cold they're showing me on here um so we have expect powerful change with the lovers so if this person ghosted you and you really really like them this person is going to be coming back i feel like with a really good offer like the lovers is really showing me like the lovers with expect powerful change is very very powerful like that's so powerful and the fact we have the star underneath is like you have got some really good shit coming towards you okay um, and funnily enough, we have next to it, it's time to take action with Garnet and commitment. So you have some commitment, possibly there could have been commitment issues um, with this person. I feel like you basically were a perfect match, but this person had commitment issues. They were pretty much fighting off the thought of taking action with you. They were like, I'm not balanced, I can't deal with this. And because they weren't balanced, they literally could not deal with the situation. You guys were like perfect for each other. But they just were fighting you off and you were like well why are you fighting me off like we're a really good match um i don't really understand so but basically they ghosted you because they were essentially not ready for the commitment so it could have been you not ready for the commitment or they weren't ready for the commitment and basically they were essentially fighting the connection and saying i don't know what to do 
I want I want the commitment, but I'm just not sure. I'm scared. I'm getting a baby as well, so I'm feeling like there could have been a, a children involved, and they they could have too many like um, they could have had too many commitments with uh, children. And for this, for this seven of um, pentacles and the seven of wands, but I feel like the number seven is definitely. Um, definitely very prominent here so look up number seven i feel like this person needs to work on themselves first and i feel like you do as well i feel like the ghosting was because the universe was saying that you need to work on yourself before you actually get with this person so this person could easily come towards you guys i really really see that they're essentially having a lot of guidance from their ancestors and their guides telling them that you've got a lot of options but you need to pick one you need to really really pick one you can't just keep um going out with people and like ghosting them it's not on like you can't carry on doing that so for you guys it is very very good for you to pause and wait for this person if you want to be with them not essentially that you stop living your life but the fact that if they come back possibly hear them out and see what they have to say um, and basically this connection is in pause mode it's almost like they've just pressed the pause button and it's like now they've got to wait until um now you you both have got to wait until one of you makes a decision i think it obviously is this person because it's they, they're the one who has ghosted you um so we have assessing we have the three of wands with the five of cups so you can see this person assessing really goes well with this three of wands card because it's almost like look how they're assessing the the area and they're almost like surveying the area and getting they're surveying um what they need to do to come towards you and i never noticed that this girl's got like a balloon dress i don't know why i'm noticing that all of a sudden um because they're telling me that things are not what they seem and everything is interconnected so basically this person is assessing whether they want to come towards you or not they're, they're seeing if it's the right decision we have a number nine so they're essentially ready to make a jump i feel like if they get rid of all this old patterning i feel like they've ghosted other people before as well i feel like you're not the only one who they've ghosted and they keep doing this over and over again i can hear their mum moaning at them for some reason or like the sister it's like a female kind of like saying well, why did you do that that's really mean like you can't you can't keep acting like that otherwise you're not going to get anywhere so i feel like this person is watching you or possibly on social media they're looking out for you and they're seeing okay what's the best thing for me to do we then have growth and the three of pentacles so this person has the potential to grow they are basically learning to balance themselves out in terms of their finances and their stability and if they can do that if they can love themselves and you, if you you need to love yourself more as well guys who have picked this group because the fact we have self-love is really coming up to show you that basically you are in pause because you need to work on your stability within yourself number four is all about stability and i feel like there's four ways of looking at this or there's four basically four directions for you um and they show me like we have family money your home and your love life and it's almost like this person's trying to choose which one they want and actually they can have all four of these things they can have all four once they just once they can actually accept themselves for who they are and they can actually handle all these things at once i feel like this person's just overwhelmed um and i feel like just keep carrying on the way you are guys um the fact we've got to expect powerful change with this time to take action is like holy crap that's amazing so there is definitely commitment here on some level if you want it to be um once they come back i feel like so hopefully uh obviously when i said self-love guys i don't obviously mean you're not doing enough um i just feel like it's going to be like the more you just focus on yourself it's just it's just going to help you overcome this situation and with this no card i feel like there's so much going on here and it's going to be like a massive impact hitting you it's going to be like a massive change is going to hit you it could be in a form of a new person but it can be in a form of communication and sudden realization okay almost like the tower moment okay so thank you so much for watching this video guys if you'd like to please give it a big old thumbs up comment down below if this resonated if it didn't resonate then just let it fly and also you guys if you want to get a private reading with me i'm doing 10 percent off all the way through september i'm really really happy because i love doing these free uh, crystal recommendations for all of you guys because normally i just do my crystal recommendation on my hour reading but actually i've put it all 
over all of my readings so I'm really excited to do those for you guys so if you would like a reading with me please feel free to let me know and I'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three thank you so much for um clicking on this video so let's see what is going on for you and why they ghosted you so let's have a look we have look at the bigger picture have faith in your dreams your hard work is paying off green adventure in new opportunities heart chakra wow that's very powerful carnelian self-confidence fear release resilience let's move that little leaf out of the way because you can't see the cars and that's not good pleiades double mission channeling and uplifting humanity we then have protection transformation and passion wow you guys oh my gosh so i'm just going to pull a couple of cards from the tarot deck we've got the death card we've got the two of swords let's get a couple more Uh, three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Cups. Underneath the deck, we have Seven of Pentacles. So, this person is currently working on their future. They're telling me their future, their stability, their monies, their just, in general, themselves. So, since they ghosted you, they're now working on themselves, and they've gone through a death process, okay? They are releasing their resilience in terms of actually being resistant to change since they were with you and they ghosted you the reason why they ghosted you here is showing me they didn't have much self-confidence and i feel like it, they felt like they didn't, didn't bring enough to the table it's like they felt like you were like they were what's the word like you were a catch okay they're saying that you're basically you're a catch you're a really good person to be around but they couldn't hang on guys i'm just getting a message through let's just see what, what's coming through they couldn't deal with the situation because you were pretty much they felt like you were better than them which actually isn't like it's not a thing okay guys like this person it's all in their head basically they, they couldn't deal with what was going on and they felt like they weren't worthy they weren't worthy like i'm getting them on their knees going i'm not worthy i'm not worthy um so i feel like this person could easily come back to you because we have green adventure and new opportunities i feel like they're working on their self-confidence they're working on dealing with their self-confidence and having the bravery to come forward okay so at the moment they're debating they're debating coming forward with the two of swords and the death card they've gone through a death process guys they've gone through it right now <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys um yeah they want to <coughs> come forward um my throat just did a really weird thing so i think they want to come forward to you and i feel like when they do it will be a celebration um because they'll be very proud of themselves for actually coming towards you and for dealing with all these things but i feel like in the in the, the moment you're going through a death process as well and you're debating kind of what's going on in love like why do, why does this keep happening i'm feeling i'm getting um and it's almost like they just had this massive fear and it was almost like they had too much responsibility i don't know why but they it's just something like they're just getting I'm, I'm just getting they have too much responsibility they felt like it was just too much all in one go and it's nothing to do with you guys okay let me just tell you that um, they were basically just protecting themselves. They were protecting themselves from getting hurt um, because they were just scared. And it's basically, yeah, I'm just getting there. They were just so scared. So I do feel like things can change and they're going to basically, like, they're going to have a whole revamp of their personality pretty much because they want, they feel the passion between between you two. Like, they, they feel the passion with, with them and with you. Like, they feel the passion coming from you. And essentially, they're going to look at the bigger picture and they're going to think, holy crap, what have I done? Um, there was just too much pressure on them, I feel like. And I don't know why, but I think it's because they were going through so much in their head. They were going through quite a lot of mental health issues, I feel like. Um, they needed to transform. They needed to get through this resilience. They, they didn't want to transform. They didn't want to go through this because it's hard. Transforming is hard, guys. So, as we all know. So, basically, they're going to release this, this burden 
and they're gonna they're gonna completely transform themselves um so have faith that this is going to change i feel like obviously if you want this person to come back there is a possibility of them coming back and i feel like it's actually going to boost your self-confidence as well um as to why as to what's happening and the fact we've got a death card is just it's a very strong process um so just keep in mind that things may change in about five months again things may change about three to five months um around yeah even around october time it could change okay guys october november time so even christmas as well and new year's okay so about yeah about three to four months okay so thank you so much for watching guys did i say three to four months i think i did anyways <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to comment down below if it's resonated and also if you'd like to get private reading with me and um, that'd be amazing. I'm doing 10% off all the way through September. I absolutely loved doing these free crystal recommendations for you guys with every single reading that I give out. So I'm going to carry on doing that for the rest of September. And if you would like to get a private reading with me, you can email me or message me uh, on Instagram. So thank you so much and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see why they ghosted you, okay? So we have conclusions are within reach perfect what a good start conclusions are within reach it's time to release negativity carousite travel root and crown chakra the void i'm gonna put this down here guys because the shiny cards are always reflecting off the light the void sovereignty protection surrender we have mirror who or what is triggering you don't dim to fit in how are you dimming your light in order to fit in and then we also have communication wow okay so let's have a look at the tarot and let's see what's going on why did they ghost you so why did group four get ghosted by this person thank you queen of cups the fool strength card I'm gonna move this up here guys sorry my light is like reflecting on all the cards it's so annoying <laughs> the world card and we also have the lovers perfect now underneath the deck we have the star oh my god that's crazy because we literally have had the star for group one two and now four that's mental wow you guys have definitely got some really strong soul connections here so this person got triggered by you because you were their mirror okay that is literally in a nutshell why this person ghosted you it was not your fault it wasn't their fault it was essentially you guys were meant to meet for this particular reason you guys can easily start up a new relationship or just start up a new connection again this person may come towards you because they feel this connection really really strongly um they may come from a really far away place or you are just in separation and at the moment, they're feeling like they're in a void. They feel like they are in such a dark place. They they are slowly starting to come out, I feel like, though. They're using their strength to come out of this. I feel like you are actually in quite a good place. Um, even though they ghosted you, I feel like you are in actually quite a good place. Or if you're not now, you will be very soon. And you're learning how to surrender to what's going on. This person, basically, they were so triggered by how amazing you are. They were like, holy crap, I'm not ready for this, you know? Like, you were the perfect person for them. They just, it was just they're not the right timing for them. For you, it was pretty much the great timing. But obviously, everything is in divine timing and things just happen for a reason, guys. So, as we all know. So, tr we have travel and root and crown chakra. So, I feel like this person could be traveling and thinking about you while they travel. They could want to travel towards you. But I feel like for a lot of you, this person's currently traveling and they're thinking about what they've done. And they're actually, that's actually helping with their transformational period. And for this person, we have the number 10. So I feel like this person is like, with the, both you and this person are ending a cycle. And I feel like you could be starting a new one because the world card is all about starting a new cycle. Okay, guys? So this person could easily communicate with you. They've gone through quite a lot and they were basically protecting themselves from getting hurt because they felt such a strong connection with you. They were like, holy crap, I, I can't do this, you know? I can't do this. And they, it was, I'm getting really, really sad and like scared because it's like I can feel how much they really, really liked you. And they really, on a romantic level, guys, this person really, really liked you. Um, they just had so much negativity that they just couldn't deal with. Um, 
they are now basically they've been stung by themselves pretty much and the universe is like you can't do this anymore you gotta sort your shit out so basically i keep seeing these uh, moons as like the world the world card like a cycle ending so this once they release this negativity conclusions are within reach for you guys like you can actually start again and the world card i feel like is conclusions are within reach like you guys are going to start again if you want to okay guys so basically that's what happened that's why they ghosted you and basically you weren't willing to dim your light which is really really amazing don't ever dim your light to fit in guys like really kind of embrace who you are and to know that just because this person goes to you doesn't mean that it makes you any less of a person it doesn't make you any different from like it doesn't make you it shouldn't change yourself for who you are you should just stay as amazing as you are and there's definitely a new start here guys because you had the full card and i feel like i'll say i feel like you guys are really kind of in your power you were like bitch if you don't want to be with me then you can just f off pretty much um and if you weren't like that guys i feel like they could just feel such an amazing energy from you they, just, they just got scared it's really it's really weird because i'm getting and uh, they were scared of a good thing and we have the void with a number one so it's funny how we have the number 10 with travel and number one with the void. So basically they could be now starting, so some of you guys, they could be starting a new cycle and then they're really missing you. They really want to be with you. Um, and they're like, what, what have I done? I made a massive mistake. So for some of you guys, they're going to come back. For a lot of you, obviously they probably won't be coming back because they just have been so, they're so embarrassed by what they've done. Um, for a lot of you, they are going to come back with communication because they do love who you are. They love your personality. I think you're amazing. And yeah, I think they, they need to see a lot of strength. For some of you, they could be a Leo or a water sign. Um, could even be an Aries or a Sag as well. Okay, guys? Uh, possibly also an Aquarius. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If it resonated, then please feel free to comment down below. Give it a like and subscribe if you would like to. My name is The Crystal Girl. And also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, I'm doing 10% off for the entire month of September. I absolutely love doing the crystal recommendations for you guys. And I'm doing a free crystal recommendation with every single reading that you guys purchase. And yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for, for your endless amounts of support. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are flipping amazing and i'll speak to you very soon bye